Good afternoon, I'm Engineer Perfecto Padilla. The Civil Engineering Board exam is just around the corner. We can already smell it. It's less than a month before the April 2023 board exam. In regards to this, I am inviting you to enroll and to attend our coaching program in full preparation for that for coming board exam. I guarantee you that this coaching program will mean a lot, will contribute a lot to pass to top the board exam. In this coaching program, we will be discussing forecast problems and latest board exams. So it will really be an advantage, a great advantage to familiarize yourself in the trending of the board exam. So, and also familiarize yourself with the actual board exam problems. So, when you are familiar with the problems and the simplified solution and approach and even the answers, then it would really be an advantage. This is a program you cannot afford to miss. In order to enroll, click the link below on PadillaReviewCenter.com and choose Enroll. Now, let us have situation number three sa PISAD, no? Sa structural. So, we have here a truss. Medyo deceiving ng konti etong truss na to. Dahil dun sa drawing, medyo eto is mukhang equal tong dalawang to. Pero hindi. Bakit? This is 333 and this height, this one, is 1.5. 1.5 meters. So, kung ikakalculate natin to, this is 9. So, to the middle, this is 3 plus 1.5. This is 4.5 meters. Now, if I'm going to take this and call this angle theta, Then, yung arc tangent of theta or yung theta is the arc tangent of opposite over adjacent. So, it is 1.5 over 4.5. You calculate this and you will get here 18.435 degrees. Now, if you will solve this, this one, from this triangle, so from the figure, obviously this is 90 because this is a straight line. H will be perpendicular or normal to this truss or to the top chord. So, and this is collinear with H2. So, take note kung 90 degrees to, this is 3, that is the hypotenuse. And this is adjacent, so that would be... 3 cosine of theta. Yung adjacent to the theta is 3 cosine theta. 3 is the hypotenuse. You substitute here 18.435. 3 cosine 18.435. What you will get here is 2.856. So this is 2.856. This one. The distance. Now, take note, if I'm going to solve this uh, AC, this is 1.5, this is 4.5. So, this one is the square root of 1.5 squared, the vertical, plus 4.5 squared, the horizontal. So, what you are going to get here will be equal to 4.7434. So, ibig sabihin mula H1 hanggang H3. This one. This is 4.7434. Minus 2.856. This is 1.887. Malayo yung value nila. Malayo yung length nito. Naintindihan? Okay. Uh, sinold ko siya dahil kailangan siya sa problem. Okay? Punta tayo dito. Now, in this particular problem, if H1 
H2 and H3 are all zero, P is 85 kilonewtons, we are asked here to find the force DE. Now, by symmetry, if this is 85, this is A vertical, this is A, this is G vertical, while this one is A horizontal. Okay? Now, by symmetry, take note that P will be divided equally between AV and GV. So that GV is equal to AV, which is equal to P over 2. Right? Hating kapatid. So dahil ito nasa gitna, hating kapatid yan. So therefore, this is 85 kilonewtons over 2. So this is 42.5 kilonewtons. This is your GV. Now, we are asked here to find force in DE. There's only one force being required, so we just use method of sections. So if I'm going to use this section, this one, etong section na to, and consider yung left. So kung puputulin ko yan, so if I'm going to use the cut and expose technique and use and expose the forces here, so, we will presume that the forces will be tension away from the section. So, this is the force in member DE. In order to eliminate this two, let us take the moment at C. We are just taking the FBD right of that section. So, therefore, take note that you have here FDE that is clockwise Summation of moment at point C equals zero. Clockwise moment positive. So you have FDE times 1.5 minus GV, which is 42.5 multiplied by the moment arm, which is 4.5. Okay? Is equal to zero. So, you substitute 42.5 here. 42.5 times 4.5, lipat sa kanan, positive, divided by 1.5. You will be able to solve your FDE. And you will get FDE here as 127.5 meters. Kilonewtons. It is positive meaning it is indeed in tension. So this is your FDE when all H1, H2, H3 are 0 but P is 85. Now in number 8, baligtad. When P is 0, H1 is 11, H2 is 16, H3 is 27, find the force DE. This time, this is 0. So, same thing, let us solve GV. To solve GV, considering the whole FBD, whole thrust. If we will take here summation of moment at point A is equal to zero, I am taking summation of moment at A so that AV and AH will be eliminated. So, I will have here minus GV minus GV times 9 meters, 3, 3, 3. So this will produce counterclockwise moment about A. Plus, H1 doesn't have a moment, so H2 times 2.856 plus H3 times the moment arm of H3 is 4.7434 is equal to 0. You substitute the values, your H2 is what? Your H2 is 16, while your H3 is 27. 16 times this, plus 27 times this, move to the right, it will become negative, divided by negative 9. We will be able to solve 
our GV. Our GV here is going to be 14.1 kilonewtons. Do you follow? Okay. So, we had GV as 14.1. Now, we can now solve our, our force DE for this condition. Same thing, we take this section by cut and expose. We take the moment at C. We assume this to be tension away from the section. So, I have here summation of moment about C equals 0, clockwise moment positive. So, we will have here, we will have in this equation, FDE times the moment arm 1.5. This, this are eliminated. So, minus GV. So, minus GV multiplied by the moment arm 4.5 is equal to 0. So, you substitute 14.1 here. So, you will get here 14.1 times 4.5 to the right divided by 1.5. Your FDE is equal to what? If you will compute this, this is going to be equal to 42.3 kilonewtons. Naintindihan? So, ito yung ating FDE. Okay? So, nakuha na natin yung ating FDE and this is positive. It is understood to be it is in tension. Now, in problem number 9, ang question ngayon, this time P is 85, H is 11, H2 is 16, H3 is 27. These values are exactly these values. This value is exactly the value in number 7. Now look, if you will combine 7 and 8, you'll have here 0 plus 11, 11. 0 plus 16, 16. 0 plus 27, 27. 85 plus 0 is 85. The result is this one. So, by method of superposition, the force in DE is the force in DE when P is 85 and all others are 0. Ito yun. 1 to 7.5 plus the force in DE when P is 0, H1, H2, and H3 are these values, which is the same in number 8. And we had it as... 42.3. So, computing the force in DE by method of superposition is 169.8 kilonewtons. So, this is the force in DE and this is in tension. So, pwede actually yan na ang gawin nyo dun sa choices, i-add nyo lang yung choice sa 7 saka 8 kung sino sa kanila ang kombinasyon na mag-i-equal sa FDE, yun yung sagot sa number 9. Maliwanag? Ang disadvantage lang dyan sa dugtong-dugtong method is paano kung may dalawa, tatlo, o lahat pag pinagdugtong mo is mag-match dun sa number 9. So, kailangan pa rin nating matutuhan talaga kung paano gagawin to. Naintindihan? Okay. Are you preparing to take the CE licensure exam? Here in Padilla Review Center, we offer online review for civil engineers and variety of other courses. Enrollment is ongoing. Visit our official website to enroll. Are you struggling with your major engineering subjects? Let us help you out. Here in Padilla Review Center, we have subject mastery courses you could enroll for 1,000 pesos per course. What are you waiting for? Enrollment is ongoing.